The experiment will be divided into three parts, namely reaction, washing, and purification of the product. These are the chemicals to be used in this experiment. Measure third butyl alcohol using a volumetric cylinder and transfer the liquid into a round bottom fluff. The acid is found in the fume hood. Carefully measure the needed amount using a volumetric cylinder and transfer the liquid into a beaker. Cool the acid in an ice bath for a few minutes. Add third butyl alcohol into the acid with swirling to mix them well. Observe the presence of two liquid layers which means the reaction has occurred. Next, prepare for distillation. Boiling stones must be added whenever organic liquids are heated in the round bottom flask. You should always attach the rubber tubings on the condenser first before assembling the distillation setup. Pay attention to the technique being shown, particularly the order of setting up the distillation process. It begins by clamping the round bottom flask and placing an adapter over it as shown in yellow. This is how the adapter is placed on the round bottom flask. Next, Attach the condenser to the adapter as highlighted in pink. Then, attach a fraction collector at the other end of the condenser as highlighted in blue. Insert a thermometer into a region within the adapter and place a beaker below the fraction collector. The bottom of the thermometer should be at the junction where the adapter meets the condenser. Ensure the mercury bulb of the thermometer is positioned at the junction where the adapter meets the condenser. Next, turn on the pipe water. Water enters the condenser from the bottom and exits at the higher end of the condenser. Switch on the thermal heater to begin the distillation. Observe the distillation process and collect the distillate.
stop the distillation process when the thermometer reaches 80 degrees Celsius. Proceed to wash the collected distillate. The distillate undergoes a two-step washing process involving distilled water followed by a 5% sodium bicarbonate solution. A separating funnel is used in this step. Using a volumetric cylinder, measure the required volumes of distilled water and 5% sodium bicarbonate. Carefully pour the distillate into the separating funnel. Observe the formation of two layers in the separating funnel and separate them. If the layers cannot be seen, proceed to the next step. The distillate is first washed with distilled water. Observe the formation of two liquid layers in every step. Measure the correct amount of distilled water. Then, pour the distilled water into the separating funnel. Observe the formation of two liquid layers. Shake the separating funnel. After three cycles of shaking, release the air pressure in the separating funnel by opening the valve. Do not forget to close the valve. Allow the separating funnel to stand for one minute before opening the cap. First, run off the lower aqueous layer in the separating funnel. Leave the upper layer in the separating funnel and proceed to the next step. Add 5% aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution. Observe the formation of two liquid layers.
Repeat the same steps seen in the first washing. Measure the amount of solution needed. Add the solution into the separating funnel and shape. Observe the formation of two layers. Repeat the shaking and depressurization cycles until the liberation of gas stops. Let the separating funnel stand for one minute and open the cap. Observe the two liquid layers formed. Run off the lowest aqueous layer. Collect the remaining layer in the separating funnel in a clean beaker or conical flask. Dry the liquid product over a drying agent. These can either be anhydrous magnesium sulfate or calcium chloride. Observe when the drying agent comes into contact with the liquid product. Surplus water causes the drying agent to clump. Add more drying agent until clumps are no longer visible. Let it stand for 10 minutes before proceeding to the purification step. Weigh an empty vial, including the cap, and record the weight. Filter the organic liquid product through a filter paper, straight into a suitable size round bottom flask. Add a few pieces of boiling stones into the round bottom flask. Assemble the distillation setup again. 
beginning by clamping the round bottom flask. Take note of the setup sequence as shown earlier. Switch on the thermal heater to begin the distillation. Observe the thermometer readings during the process. This is when the temperature on the thermometer settles between 48 to 52 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the purified third butyl chloride begins to flow into the weighed empty bar. Always take note of the temperature changes. When the liquid in the round bottom flask has dried up, stop the distillation process. Ensure that all purified third butyl chloride is collected into the valve. Weigh the pure product with the vial and record the weight. Calculate the product weight using this equation.